So I just wanted to do a very quick update. Um, I know I'm on like my really bad uh, laptop camera right now, but I can't be bothered to set up my good one. Um, literally only doing this video just to say that um, the general update is halos are the same. Uh, like no issues like with anything. Um, the only thing I wanted to say is I had a very, very recent um, eye test and <clears throat> I don't know the exact time. I don't know exactly how long it's been since I had the surgeries. I think it was around 20 months. Anyway, left eye minus 0 0.25, which hasn't changed at all. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, um, about a month after my laser surgery, I had the exact same prescription right eye uh, plus 0.50 so um i can see really well like about two lines below the uk driving standard um and when they put the trial frames on me when they corrected that plus 0.50 and the, and the uh, minus 0.25 um i could pick out letters from the 2020 line which I've never been able to do in my life, which is really good. So um, if I really, really wanted 20-20 vision, I could get some like daily contact lenses, which correct that tiny amount of prescription that's, that's there. But I don't, I don't see the need because um, I can see perfectly fine. But what's probably going to happen is um, because I inherited such high myopia, like minus 22, as you know, 21, 22, um, as I get older, both eyes are probably going to get slightly more myopic uh, with age. So this left one is probably going to become maybe like a minus 0 0.75 or something in the next 5, 10 years. That's just a, a guess. But the right one, because it's a plus 0 0.50, that's probably going to become more myopic, which is good for me because it's going to drop down to like a plus 0.25, then it will become zero, and then maybe it will it will slowly go into the minus numbers again. But um, when they corrected this one with the trial frame to zero, that's when I could see 2020 at my right eye because my right I'm right eye dominant. Um, so. I'm really happy with that. Like, I'd much rather be slightly long sighted than slightly short sighted because I know just based on my genetics with age, I'm going to become more short sighted. Like, there's no way I'm going to become long sighted and let, until I get like over 14, I start to lose accommodation, which is like a natural thing with aging. Um, so, in the meantime, if my eyes get slightly worse, my vision will actually get better in the right eye, which is all good. Um, I can't remember the exact figure my my uh, surgeon, my um, optometrist gave me like directly after the surgery, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed at all, which is a really, really good result. Like uh, in day-to-day -day life, I can still see as good as I remember. Um, everything's all hunky-dory. Uh, Nothing, really nothing else to update, no issues, um, no retinal tears, no retinal detachment. I know I'm at a higher risk of all that, but uh, you just have to be, I just have to be careful. No contact sports like rugby or boxing or anything, which is going to put me at risk of a retinal tear or whatever. Um, allergies are pretty much gone because it's winter in England right now, so I don't have to worry about that. I do get dry eyes, but I've always got dry eyes. Like I had them before the surgery. And at the minute, I'm using... Oh, hold up. Mm. Uh, these, which I got off eBay, they're called uh, High Pro, High Pro Mellos, 0.3%. Um, there you go. They were really cheap. They were like four bottles for about six quid. Uh, I hadn't used them before, but I'm really happy with them. They're really good. Um, so yeah, really nothing else to to say. I'm happy with the results uh, and still going strong. So yeah, again, as I said in my last video, I'm not a surgeon. Don't ask me things like, 
oh, can I get ICL surgery? Can I get laser surgery? I don't know. You need a thorough, thorough eye exam with all like the internal scans, which show uh, how much space you've got literally inside your eyeball for the lens to be implanted. I cannot answer that in a YouTube video. So you're just going to have to pay up, pay for the initial consultation with the surgeon you can trust. As I said before, um, I don't mind name dropping because I'm really happy with my surgeon. Um, his name was Bruce Allen. I'll just make sure I get the correct name, uh, like the correct spelling. Yeah. So it's Bruce, B-R-U-C-E. His surname's Allen, A-L-L-A-N. If you just put in Google Bruce Allen Eye Surgeon, the very first result is uh, morefields.nhs.uk and you'll see him as a consultant on there. Um, the third link down on Google is www.allen.vu. That's his official website. It has all the information on um, uh, all the different corrective surgeries that he can do. Uh, he's who I used. Um, again, I'm in the UK, so uh, if you're like in America or somewhere, uh, it's not really worth flying all the way over to the UK to get eye surgery done. Um, just find someone respectable, someone who makes you feel uh, like a valued patient, because a lot of these clinics, like especially the laser clinics, they it's like a meat market, like you come in, they give you a price breakdown, give you the surgery and then send you on your way. I didn't want that sort of treatment, mainly because my eyes are so bloody complicated with the fucking high myopia and the very high astigmatism which I had. So he was by far the best um, surgeon and consultant I could find. And he works at arguably the UK's best eye hospital, which is Moorfields in London. So that's who I used. That's who I would personally recommend. But um, by all means, do your own research, find who you like best and go from there. So cheers.